This is Jacqueline. She drives a Ford Focus ST, and for Christmas this year, I decided to make her a custom shift knob. Some might look at this project as pretty simple. Shift knobs boil down to just a chunk of metal or other material that has some threads tapped into the bottom. However, there's a lot more angles to it than that. In my case, I'll be starting from scratch, working in on shape to make a 3D model. Each prototype will be 3D printed before the final files are sent off to be machined in stainless steel, which is not inexpensive. I really only got one shot at making this perfect, and having never tackled an engineering problem that directly impacts another person's everyday interactions with something like their car, that's a bit daunting. But I can't be deterred from working on this project. I've thought about it way too much, and in reality, I just need to stop worrying about it and start working. Now, this project was intended to be a Christmas present for Jacqueline, and it still is just a very, very late one. <laughs> the iterative design process for this began when my school break came in late December and lasted all the way up until the end of break when I finally submitted the final files. I had a window to get the majority of the work for this project done, and I had no time to waste. Starting off, it made the most sense to take measurements of the original shift knob and shifter. Another thing I learned quite quickly about the Ford Focus ST's shifter was that the reverse tab actually retracted inside of the shift knob when it was engaged. This added another level of complexity to the design and constrained the overall size of the new shift knob drastically. With my notebook full of measurements, I arrived back home and got to work. For the very first design, Jacqueline requested something simple. Basically, a cylinder with the sides tapered down and a fillet on the top edge. This simpler design allowed me to focus on getting the thread pattern right. The second design featured a strong taper and a top edge fillet, almost resembling a turkey baster. The threads were also tweaked again here, but still not quite right. Shift knob 3 was interesting. Um, it was very big, much like the original shift knob on the car, and featured this demonic smiley face. I did this to experiment with engraving something onto the knob. After some review with Jacqueline, the consensus was that for a more ergonomic function with her hand, especially when shifting into reverse, it'd be nice to have a flare at the base, a lip that your fingers can press against when pulling the tab up as opposed to a narrow hard cutoff like in Mark III. This brought about Mark IV, another thick one that included a little lip at the bottom. The sheer volume of this shift knob brought about my own variation, Mark V, which was basically its twin on Ozempic. I printed Mark V with four walls and a higher infill, meaning it was strong enough to be used on the car in a real driving scenario, especially now that the threads and reverse tab were fitting properly. With the shifter installed on the car, it felt relatively solid. It was clear that the shape needed tweaking, as well as the massive soccer ball design likely not being kept permanently, but as a start, things were going in the right direction. Reverse was fully functional with the tab seating inside of the knob and the lip on the bottom of the shifter behaved as hoped, providing a comfortable stopping point for Jacqueline's fingers. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay is your go-to source for high quality PCB prototyping, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and even CNC machining and 3D printing. With their fast turnaround times, affordable prices, and easy ordering system, they enable creators like me to make things like this shift knob, and they can do the same for you too. If you want professionally made parts for a great price, then PCBWay is the best solution. So go check them out at PCBWay.com and bring your own ideas to life. Thanks again to PCBWay. The downfall of this one was that it was too skinny, with the thinnest section coming in at just shy of 1mm. After taking some notes, I revised the 3D model by increasing the largest diameter from 4.5cm to 4 and 3 quarters, as well as increasing the thickness of the area that sheathes the reverse tab. I also changed the soccer ball logo graphic, and finally, I made the bottom out point of the M8 pattern threads much higher sitting so that the shifter screwed on to a specific height, leaving a preferred amount of the reverse tab peeking out from the knob. This shift knob got printed with a very fine layer height of 0.8mm to hopefully make the threads more accurate. When installing Mark VI, it became very clear how much better the thread quality was with the smaller layer height. It just spun right on with little to no resistance, but when tightened all the way down still provided a solid amount of resistance so as not to back off the threads or twist while it was driving. Again, taking this thing on the road, Jacqueline confirmed that the progression was still on the right path. Finally closing in on our final design here, with Jacqueline's feedback, I removed the flat spot where previous engravings had been and rounded it off. Mark 7 is looking promising so far, the threads fit great, the reverse tab sheaths nicely inside it, and the feel is ergonomic and comfortable for Jacqueline. 
After some driving, we decided this would be the final design. I had one final idea here prior to sending the files off to be CNC'd. Metal of course is much harder than plastic, and to have a snug fit at the bottom of the threads, I figured something like an o-ring inside the metal knob would dampen any jostling motions or vibrations that could shake it loose. I added a little tolerance to the thread spacing and shoved an o-ring into another plastic one just to test this idea. It worked as hoped and gave me the confidence to move forward with the plan. The final shift knob is here. It was CNC machined out of solid stainless steel by PCBWay and finished with a brush texture giving it a nice smooth feel that matches the chrome reverse tab below it. I'm beyond happy with how this turned out and so is Jacqueline. This thing was super heavy for its size, as hoped, coming in at 1.5 pounds or roughly 2 thirds of a kilogram. That extra weight puts more momentum behind every shift, making it feel way smoother which was a key goal from the start. This whole project was a solid experience. I'd never worked with someone else to design something from the ground up like this, so going through multiple iterations to fine tune every detail was a huge learning experience. In the end, we went through 8 main versions, plus a bunch of minor tweaks that aren't even worth counting. I definitely want to keep working on custom car parts in the future. Uh, right now I've been working on designing a mini Subaru style boxer engine in Onshape. It's getting really complex, so I might make a video on it. The plan is to run it on compressed air, but even if that doesn't work out, it'll be really cool to have as a model. On a side note, school has been seriously cutting into my project time, which it is what it is, so sorry for the infrequent uploads. Thank you to everyone who made it this far in the video, let me know if you enjoyed it, or if you have any suggestions for the future.